After the reveal of Xbox One X this year at E3, Microsoft noted that the new system will download 4K assets, which of course resulted in plenty of confusion over precisely what 4K assets actually were. Is it something tied to the display? Are the textures stored at a specific 4K resolution? In reality, it's even simpler than that. Thus, we wanted to try and clear some of the mystery up surrounding the topic and show some examples highlighting what you could expect. Fundamentally then, when you hear this term, it's broadly referring to high resolution artwork designed to maximize the perception of detail at higher resolutions such as 4K. And the concept is nothing new. With each new generation of hardware, we see massive improvements in texture quality after all. When you have more available resources such as memory and storage space, texture quality is a great way to utilize these resources. However, the impact that these textures have on image quality can actually depend on the resolution of your display. If you're playing a game at 640x480, for instance, there's a limit to how much of the artwork can be resolved. Conceivably, one could even refer to those textures as 480p assets, but that wouldn't really be referencing the resolution of the textures themselves. When Microsoft or any other company use the term 4K assets, they are referring specifically to higher resolution textures in general, not the specific resolution of the textures or the type of display in use. Just the idea that higher resolution textures are beneficial to those using higher resolutions. That's it. We've seen this basic idea for years now on the PC with higher resolution texture packs. When consoles were limited to just 720p or 1080p, PC users were already well beyond this and games often featured higher resolution textures designed for the PC where VRAM was less of an issue and players were far more likely to be using higher resolutions. Of course, a resolution upgrade alone can provide a huge boost in texture clarity even without 4K assets. Castlevania Lords of Shadow is a great example of this. Released on PS3 and 360 years ago, it was a game filled with high frequency artwork and a distant camera. As a result, at 720p, it was rather difficult to appreciate the finer details present in the texture work. The detail was lost due to the low resolution. On PC, at a native 4K then, it's possible to showcase the artwork the way it was meant to be seen. A bump in resolution alongside improved texture filtering is all it takes to greatly improve the visual quality of the game. That's it. These textures were not designed with such high resolutions in mind, yet they still benefit. But what if you want to push things even further by creating enhanced textures that leverage the extra resolution? That's when we get into what are being called 4K assets. Developers in this case are simply referring to assets that benefit from a higher resolution display. Let's take Rise of the Tomb Raider as an example here. It's been available for quite a while at this point, but the PC version shipped with a very high texture option. On the left here, we have the very high texture setting, while the right uses just the high textures, which are equivalent to the console versions. These are not specifically referred to as 4K assets, but they mirror exactly what Microsoft is talking about when they use that term, higher quality textures that take advantage of a higher resolution. You can use these textures on any PC GPU, provided you have enough VRAM available, or at any resolution you like, but only at really high resolutions like 4K can you truly appreciate the difference. Here's a more extreme example, check this out. Here's the game at 720p, with very high textures enabled. If we use those identical settings at native 4K then and compare the two, it becomes evident that more texture detail is now visible. Aside from the resolution, nothing else has changed, but clearly, everything is much sharper at 4K. This is presumably how the term 4K assets came to be coined. These textures only start to offer a noticeable benefit at higher resolutions. At 1080p, there isn't much of a visible difference between the high and very high textures then. Since the Xbox One X has significantly more memory then, it makes perfect sense to include these higher quality textures in that version and run with them. These are downloaded and used on all Xbox One X systems, however, regardless of the connected display. Tying this download to your display would only lead to trouble and incompatibility issues, and really, those textures will work fine on any TV anyway, so why not? How about another example with Battlefield 1 here? This is between PS4 Pro and the PC and showcases something a little different from Tomb Raider. Rather than simply increasing texture detail, there is now more ground detail present on the PC. 
The extra memory and horsepower of the PC allows it to display more unique assets per scene. Bearing in mind that Xbox One X also features additional memory and horsepower over the PS4 Pro then, well, perhaps this is the kind of difference we might end up seeing between the two consoles. Of course, when you're dealing with 8.3 million pixels, you have a massive canvas to fill, and this can lead to other areas where the presentation can be refined. Even if a game developer chooses to use the same textures across every version of the game, it can still benefit greatly from an increased resolution. If you jump all the way back to Half-Life 2, for instance, the original artwork created for the game most certainly benefits from a native 4K resolution. However, nobody was playing the game at 4K when Half-Life 2 was released, yet it still benefits tremendously from the faster hardware and the higher resolution. Look how sharp the distant details are here, for instance. Sure, you can see its limitations here, but for a 13-year-old game, I think it holds up remarkably well and demonstrates how assets can benefit from a higher resolution. The same is true of modern games. Just a few tweaks can lead to a massively enhanced 4K experience even without new assets. For one thing, there's texture filtering. A low level of anisotropic filtering is always bothersome, but when you're rendering at very high resolutions, this can have an even greater impact on texture clarity. I mean, look at this comparison here between Rise of the Tomb Raider on PS4 Pro and the PC. Now, this resolution here in the 4K mode on PS4 Pro looks great and basically equals a native 4K presentation in terms of pixel count. But as you can see, the textures here compared to PC, not that great. And that's simply due to very low levels of texture filtering. Thankfully, Microsoft seems to be taking a very proactive stance with texture filtering on Xbox One X, so hopefully this won't be a problem any longer. Another thing to consider with texture filtering is that even if you retain the same level of filtering as a 1080p version, simply rendering at a higher resolution can improve the quality of the filtering. Horizon Zero Dawn uses identical texture filtering on PS4 and PS4 Pro, but filtering appears improved on the Pro as a result of the higher resolution alone. That's it. There's also things to consider like view distance. At a lower resolution, you can get away with a lot more aggressive LODs, but at 4K, those tricks become a lot more evident. Pushing details out can lead to a much richer overall presentation, but of course, that has its own costs. These are just two simple ways in which visuals can be improved without including a high resolution texture pack with your game, which I'd imagine not every game on Xbox One X is going to receive. Ultimately, 4K assets is a bit of a red herring. Other people might have their own definitions, of course, but really it's all about those higher resolution textures. And not necessarily the specific resolution of the textures either, but the fact that they're designed for higher resolution displays. Of course, this isn't the end of the conversation since, as alluded to above, there are other improvements that can be made to enhance the 4K experience without those extra textures. Just remember that things like texture resolution can be arbitrarily tied to any output resolution, but at a certain point, only a higher resolution can actually resolve all of the detail, hence the need for higher resolutions on Xbox One X. So it'll be interesting to look at multi-platform comparisons going forward then, since with that extra memory available and the support for likely higher resolutions in general, we should be seeing higher quality textures on Xbox One X versus the PS4 Pro. That's all for now though, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter, and until next time, this is John signing off.